Okay, we're going to do the world coordinate system to the user coordinate system. So it starts off in the world, which is 0, 0, down in the corner, and it will always be there, and you can always go back to it. If you just click on the X, Y, uh, some grips will come up, and there's three things you can do. The first one will be move and align. We're just going to move it to this rectangle, and then we're just going to align it to that rectangle. So you can see the whole grid just move. So now you can build off of that on the X, Y axis. And we can move origin only. So if we wanted to move that somewhere else, because if we want to type in coordinates, then we can just come off that 0, 0, just because that's the user coordinate system. And you can put it wherever you want. As long as you got your snaps on, you can snap on your corners. The world coordinate system or the user coordinate system is a little hard to click on to there. We just, just put it back onto the world, so it just went right back to where it was. That's the world one on the bottom. I'll show you why. So we'll just align it here to this rectangle and say we want to build off of here parallel. So we'll just grab something here, maybe another rectangle, and we'll just build it parallel to it. So it's a lot easier than trying to put it on an angle or figure out what the angle is and then have to type the angle in. So it's sometimes a little bit quicker. There, so now it's parallel. And then you can just return it back to the world or wherever you want to go next. So again, the, the grips sometimes are a little hard to click onto. You might have to zoom in to catch it because I think it's grabbing a grip of the rectangle. There we go. We'll just put it back into the world.